Hi everyone. Today I will be injecting PRP into the rotator cuff tear of a 56 year old gentleman. I will be doing this under ultrasound guidance. My patient today is a 56 year old gentleman. He works as an administrative officer. He has been complaining of shoulder pain for the last 3 months. These are his MRI scans. On clinical examination, he has got a painful arc of rotation. There is tenderness over the top of the shoulder at the collarbone joint with the blade of the scapula, otherwise known as the acromioclavicular joint. He has also got a restriction of shoulder movements. So, in terms of pathology, he has got a limitation of movements in terms like a frozen shoulder. He has got a painful arc and a strength test is weak, signifying that there is a weakness of the one of the rotator cuff tendons in this case the rotator the supraspinatus tendon there is a partial thickness tear over there and then there is also tenderness over the acromioclavicular joint or the collarbone joint i will be injecting prp into the joint under ultrasound guidance i will be aspirating blood for this purpose from the vein and then this blood will be processed in the in a centrifuge to yield a prp which is low in white blood cell and red blood cell count this prp will be totally non inflammatory so this procedure will be done under ultrasound guidance i will be injecting platelet rich plasma into the substance of the tear this will cause the tendon tear to heal because prp contains growth factors these growth factors will stimulate the native cells in the damaged or the remnant part of the tendon called tendinocytes and they will secrete collagen and uh, these will help to heal the tendon in addition he will require treatment to his uh, frozen shoulder by means of hydrodilatation and physiotherapy and i will also be injecting the acromioclavicular joint today because there is tenderness in the acromioclavicular or collarbone joint these are the mri scans of the patient on this image you can see that there is a cyst in the humerus under the insertion of the rotator cuff so this signifies some change to the rotator cuff supraspinatus tendon here and the tendon is thinned out and there is a partial thickness tear on the articular surface of the uh, rotator cuff it's obvious here also the acromioclavicular joint is senior but there is not much obvious change here on this mri you can see probably say that there is some increased uh, uh, density suggesting inflammation inside the joint so this procedure will be done under ultrasound guidance and you will watch this procedure this is a good one we'll put it on this side Now I am going to infiltrate lignocaine into the site of the entry, small needle, that is it, ok? Yes. Under sir, see the loss of the substance over there. The footprint layer, footprint over the quite a bit. Is it there? Is that? See that? See that? This is PRP. See, this is PRP, amber coloured PRP. So this is a portion containing RBCs. and this amber colored fluid is the prp it is about 5 to 6 ml and uh, this yellow color or amber color signifies that there are no white blood cells or red blood cells in this so this is a very good quality and because it is low in white blood cells and red blood cells it will not cause any inflammation leaving the platelets alone to release the growth factors and stimulate growth this one monitor the process So six point five hundred.
Can you paint it? It's a very pretty picture. Yeah. yeah, that. Yeah. See that needle going there, sir? Yes. See the fluid getting distended over there? Yeah. Tip of the needle. See that fluid distension? Can you see that, sir? Yes. The black spot is increasing. See how big it has become? The black spot? Yes. That area, rough black area. Yeah, yeah. That is the area of the tear. Any pain or anything? Right pain, sir. Uh, yeah. Free up all Free up all, yeah. Into the area. See that? Yeah. So this is sufficient for AC joint. This is over, sir. If you like this video, then you might want to look at this video in which I inject PRP under ultrasound guidance into the shoulder and this one in which PRP is prepared and I inject it into the knee.